Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another Launchbox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering startup themes. Now this is actually pretty easy to enable with Launchbox and Big Box. It's kind of a separate process when it comes to both of these front ends here. You can actually make it work separately from Launchbox to Big Box just to get a little more customization out of it. But it's really easy to set up with both and we can change this theme because over on the forum we can download new startup themes. Now just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and start up a game. We'll go with Alien vs. Predator. And this is the default startup theme. So we've got some really nice graphics. We've got the car art up in the top right hand corner. And I've got this set up for five seconds. So the game's going to start now. And once we want to exit, we've got the exit theme, which is basically the startup theme just taking us out of the game. It just gives us some extra visuals while we're starting up a game or shutting a game down. And actually, this does work out quite well because we can change the time anywhere from zero seconds up to five seconds. And in my experience, at least running RetroArch from a slower mechanical drive, I set it to around four seconds. That way, RetroArch is already ready to go once that startup theme fades out of the way. So there's actually two ways to go about downloading these themes. We can actually do it inside a big box or we can do it manually. And once we do it manually, there are more themes to choose from. So that's the first method I'm going to show you. But the easiest way will be the second method directly through big box. So if you're ready to get this set up and customized, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we need to find our LaunchBox install directory. This is usually going to be located on your C drive, users, username, LaunchBox. Mine just happens to be on a separate drive here. If we scroll through here, you can see we have a folder called Startup Themes. And this is where we're going to place our new themes that we download from the LaunchBox forum. And in order to do that, I will leave a link in the description. There are a bunch to choose from over here, and you can kind of go through the list if you want to. But I've already chose three just to take a look at. First one being Starting the Game by Hazuki. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And some of these have a few options. So personally, I like starting the game dark, but you can go with the light version if you want to. It's really up to you. I'm just going to download this one. Next on the list, I'm going to go with Pulse Startup by Retro808. This just has a single file, so it's going to download for us. And finally, Neon Deluxe Arcade Street from Mr. Retro Lust. Now he has a few. You can do the interior or the street. You'll just have to find that correct theme from the download section on the forum. But I went with the street version. We'll download this one. And once those are finished up, we're going to head over to our download directory. And as you can see, I've got all three new startup themes downloaded. We need to extract these and we're going to do it correctly. I personally use WinRAR. So we're going to right click and extract here. You need to make sure you're not extracting this into another archive file. So Neon Deluxe Arcade Startup. And in here, we have the correct files. You just don't want it to be the same folder inside. We're going to go with Pulse Startup, Extract Here, and Starting the Game Dark. We'll extract here. So basically, all we need to do is move these folders we just extracted over to our Startup Themes folder in our LaunchBox directory. And like I mentioned, we're doing it the manual way now, but we can do it automatically from within Big Box. But there's not as many to choose from as there are on the forum. So we're going to head back over to LaunchBox, and from our drop down, we're going to head to Tools, Options. We're going to scroll all the way down till we find Gameplay, and we have Game Startup. So we want to make sure Use Game Startup is selected. My startup theme is default, but from the drop down, since I just installed three new ones, I can actually go with something new. I'm going to go with Neon Deluxe Arcade. And we can set the minimum startup screen display time. Mine's set at 5 seconds. We can go from 0 to 5. I'm just going to go with 5 for this video here. We also have the shutdown time. Usually, I set this one around 3. You can hide the mouse cursor on startup screens. I would recommend this just so it's not in the way. And this is exactly how I like to set up my startup and shutdown themes. So we're going to choose OK. And now, when we start up a game you'll see we have that new startup theme. And personally, I really like this Neon Deluxe version. If we want to exit, and it was only set for three seconds, so it does go quite fast. So yeah, with LaunchBox, super easy to set these up. But what about Big Box? Let's go ahead and move over there now. 
Okay, so here we are with Big Box. I'm just using the default theme here. We're going to head over to our options menu by pressing escape on our keyboard. And from here, we actually have two options. If we go to options, you can see we have game startup right here. So you can have it show loading game message. Personally, I kind of like setting this up. Definitely want to make sure you enable startup screens. You can set the theme directly from here, and we've got four to choose from because these are the ones we manually installed. We can set the minimum startup screen display time. Got it at five seconds. Shutdown time is at three, and I hide the mouse cursor on startup. So we've got it set up here from the options menu, but there's actually a section in here where we can download curated startup themes. So if we go to manage startup themes, you can see I have four installed. These are the ones I manually installed but we have available, new, and updated. We have six to choose from. Stage Box from Farron looks really, really good. Big Fade Start from Retro 808. Neon Deluxe Arcade, now I set mine up as the street. We've got Grid Blocked, Big Logo, and Multi Image. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install these here. We'll go with Big Logo, Install, it downloads very quickly. Stage box, big fade start, grid blocked, and I already have that Neon Deluxe Arcade Street installed. This is the inside version we could also install. So now, instead of four, we've got nine installed here. I'll just go with, uh, let's do stage box from Farron. Gives you an idea of what it should look like. We'll choose this, apply as startup theme. It's now applied. If we back up, I'll just go with, let's do Adventure Island 2. We'll go ahead and start this game. Our new startup theme is ready to go. And yeah, I love the blur in the background. This one looks really good. Again, exiting a game will present us with that startup screen as our kind of end screen. So it's really simple to add these manually from the forum, or we can just head over into Big Box and use the startup theme manager. That way we can download ones that have really been curated and work really well with Big Box. But that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. We really appreciate you watching. I will leave a link to the download section on the forum so you can manually install some. But like we saw, the easiest way to do it is through Big Box. It's really up to you. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, Thanks for watching.